What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a detailing video on the Daily Driver Project HHR. So let's go. So with this video, we, uh, we did a quick exterior detailing. Uh, just a quick wash and wax. Uh, we did clay bar. We have an interior detailing and we did do the, uh, the wheels. Um, rather than edit everything down to be really quick, I'm going to add these in uh, segments. So this will be the first one, just the exterior. Any questions, feel free to comment below. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so here we have the car. It is pretty dirty. It's been a while since I washed it at this point. We had taken it to the track, we had raced it. This was just before the winter. I had been kind of saving these car detailing videos until the winter. It kind of gave me something to look forward to watching in the 20 degree winter days anyway here's the car it's pretty dirty hadn't been washed in a while as you can see at this point I had owned it about a year I had given it one one or two real good car washes real good baths but I had never given it a top-down head-to-toe full detailing believe it or not this is actually the first time I do detail it top to bottom again we're gonna break this up into three different videos but you can see the car is just there's bird crap on it it's got dirt dripping down from some of the windows even the wheels these wheels are normally really shiny they are pretty dull and here we go step number one we're gonna wash the car So I normally use a power washer when I'm washing the car. Uh, for this video, for the purposes of this video, I did not have access to the power washer. I seem to be having uh, an issue with it. I have to get it fixed. The standard garden hose, it did the job pretty good. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy that the, the hose couldn't get done. We're going to start here, right off the bat. going to wet the car down, brush off, shoot off whatever loose dirt we can prior to getting the mitts on it. I'm going to use a two-bucket system here, which consists of one bucket of soap and another bucket of just water, which I essentially contaminate with the dirt prior to putting it back into the soapy bucket. For anyone watching this looking for some tips, ideally you shouldn't wash your car when it's too hot out and in direct sunlight. And right here you can see the sun is beating down on the car, but it was actually pretty cool outside. My focus with this wash, at least step one, is to just go over the car as much of it as possible and just get off all the surface dirt and dust, all the surface grime I can. We're gonna get into a little bit more of a specific detailing later, but I'm gonna tell everybody that's out there, if you have a truck or a, a 
a vehicle with a tough to reach roof, don't be lazy. Make sure to wash the roof of your car or truck. Welcome to my TED Talk. So here is a picture of some of the brushes I'm going to use. I'm going to use these to kind of get into the hard to reach areas with my mitt. I'm going to hit this rear window and then with the soap, I'm actually going to get in between the window and the body. There's a bunch of dirt that kind of hides in there in the creases. The mitts usually don't get in there and a brush comes in handy. see here you can actually see I, I peel back the weather stripping and there is dirt hiding in there that has been there for a long time and that is pretty crucial to get to you don't want to have your your water channels get blocked up and stop the flow of water helping the uh, water drain especially in especially in bad weather again here just using the brush, get to the hard to reach areas. Make sure to get the door sills, open the doors, get in between. It's not something you might see every day, but people look at these things when they open the door to your car. Again, don't be lazy. Step number two, play bar. For anyone who hasn't done this before, it's terrifying. For anyone who has done it before, it's very rewarding. Right here, we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with a Meguiar's clay bar. Um, I'm not really partial to one specific company in clay bars, but I am particular to this. It's Meguiar's iron remover and clay spray. This acts as a clay lubricant when you're gonna clay bar your car, and it also de-ironizes your paint. This is actually one of my favorite products. Uh, it doesn't smell too bad. You can really see it working, which shout out to Ready. Products that you don't see working, don't, aren't necessarily working, but this one uh, is very fulfilling. So I'm gonna hit the entire car with a clay bar here today. The car has not been clay barred before. It was better in certain areas than I thought and worse in certain areas. You can see the purple is the iron being taken out of the paint. So I hit the, uh, hit the panel with the iron remover. And as I'm going over it with the clay bar, it's still de-ironizing. And I'm still clay barring. Here you can see the purple dripping off the bumper, off the window. Oh, that's so good. Once you clay it down, you rinse it off smooth as glass. Oh, that's a good feeling. For anyone that might notice, I did start the video with a Meguiar's clay bar. It's gray or white in color. I'm now using a yellow clay bar. That's actually the mother's clay bar. I had one Meguiar's clay bar left and I dropped it twice. I dropped the first half and I dropped the second half within like the first two body panels. So now I'm using a mother's clay bar, which again, to me, just as, just as good. But the claying process is very tedious. I do, again, get a lot of reward out of it, but for anyone who hasn't done it before, it's terrifying. Going over your paint 
and feeling the uh, the bumps, taking the dirt out of your clear coat, it's a handful. It's pretty scary. Step three, we're going to dry the car now. I'll have a link to all the towels and products I use in the description. These uh, oversized towels picked up a ton of water. They dry the car so well. I was able to dry the car pretty quickly and not go through a ton of towels doing it. This also gives you an idea of any spots you might have missed while you were cleaning. And it also kind of gives you an idea of how dirty the door sills or door jams are, again, while you're wiping it down. Get low, get low. There we go. I'm gonna open the rear hatch, get in all the crevices. Find any water and wipe it off. If you're gonna wash your car, you can't be lazy. Don't be lazy in general. We opened the rear hatch and dried. Now we're gonna open the hood and dry. And get everything, get on the cowl, front bumper get anything on the radiator or the radiator shroud, dry it off. You don't want any water hanging around. That brings us to step four. I'm gonna wax the car here. I'm gonna be using a Meguiar's ceramic wax. It's like a paste. I absolutely love this wax. Goes on easy, comes off easy. A uh, big fan of Meguiar's lately. I find myself using more and more of their products. Happy with their performance, happy with their prices. They've been uh, a favorite of this channel now for some time. We actually got to use a lot of their products on the old Dirty Civic we washed not long ago. I'll actually have a link to that video at the top right here. Shout out to the Waka sound booth I'm um, recording this audio in. We have a new sound booth, AKA an undisclosed location that's not inside my house. I'm recording this from because my infant son does not like to cooperate with long stretches of quiet audio. So, when you're gonna wash, you're gonna need to wax. So, waxing here, taking my time, breaking my back, telling myself it's all gonna be worth it. Ultimately, I think it was. I think it came out pretty good. Smooth to the touch, like glass from the clay. Tried to protect it with some wax. Just grind in here. I don't know if you get an idea here. You can see it on occasion. I'm sweating my balls off, and you can tell in some of the reflection from the car. Look at that shiny head. That head needs a layer of wax. A couple layers of wax. I have a few pads I like to wax with, and I did not bring the pads with me, so I ultimately end up waxing with a microfiber towel. But ideally, a nice microfiber pad. Apply the wax, usually goes a long way. Step five, interior wipe. So the interior detailing is gonna be for next video. I included this here because if you're already washing the car, you're gonna open the hatch I went ahead and wiped down some of the panels. 
I end up wiping the panels down again in the interior portion of the video, but the next video is going to be dedicated mostly to the carpet cleaning. So make sure to incorporate wiping down your interior panels with your favorite gloss or non gloss wipe. Again, I'm using a Meguiar's product. This was actually uh, the first time I used it. I did not like it initially. As you can see here, I'm just spraying everywhere. There's some overspray in the paint, not ideal. Should apply it to the rag first and wipe it down, but I'm a cowboy. I like to spray it on the panels. This is the first time I'm using the product, and after using it, <clears throat> initially, I did not like it. However, it held up really good over time. And it grew on me, and it's now one of my favorite interior detailing products. Make sure to wipe down all your panels. Again, the interior will be mainly for the next video, but here I am, spraying the whole interior down. <laughs> Said it's an exterior video, and we're on the interior. This is a good way to just wipe off any of the dirt and dust, any of the dead skin laying around, getting it off, giving it a little shine. It was a long way. I actually make some really awkward faces. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave them in, but I'll save them for the end of the year. Funny video. Some really, I look like I'm constipated. I'm trying to take a shit every once in a while. Yeah, wipe that interior down, baby. This is actually a really good shine. I like this interior detailer. Again, I'll have a link to, in the description below to the product. Step number six. Back on the exterior. There's not a ton of plastic to be coated on the exterior of this car, but I'm gonna use this trim coat for the cowl area used a few other products it dulls fairly quickly one of the Waka team members Rennie had told me suggested to use this product it's the first time I'm using this uh, this has been been a while since I've detailed the car my review of this product I should do a review video my review of this product was basically the same as a few of the other products it did well initially it doesn't last as long as I was hoping but overall, initial quality was pretty good. Step seven, air freshener. Again, kind of an interior deal. However, every time you wash your car, you should add a new air freshener. It, it like sets the tone, it sets the mood. Uh, this is a very special air freshener. Again, I'll make sure to link it below. It's hard to come by. The results. I'm not sure I did a good enough job getting the results of the car after it's wash. It came out really good. The paint's actually in pretty decent shape. There's not a ton of swirls. You can see here it's got a mirror finish. There's not a lot of swirling. There's not a lot of marring. It does need probably a one-step paint correction. But in terms of a, uh, a detailing on a Saturday afternoon, this, uh, this hit all the marks. Look at those door jams. Mmm! We could eat out of them.
Well, there you have it. There is the freshly washed Daily Driver Project HHR. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you can, hit like, hit subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Until next time, 